Gone House Brewery and PEI has its five finalists for its first annual home brewing competition. PEI Brewing has a new beer. Pickaroons and Big Spruce have tap takeovers announced. Got a few events to tell you about. And it looks like there's a new grape new bar. Well, I don't think it's so new, but the, it's doing some interesting things in Sackville, New Brunswick. Tonight on the Maritime Beer Report. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the April 11th edition of the Maritime Beer Report. Gone House Brewery has announced its five finalists for their first annual Home Brewers Challenge. The top five are Aaron Mills with a Moss Horse Belgian Pale Ale. Matt Brinson, Brighton? <laughs> Had to forgive me. Uh, with an English Pale Ale, Ryan Palmer and Lee Nickerson with PEI Cranberry Wit. Bobby J with Pale Ale. And Matt Brightonton again with the Amarillo Citra Pale Ale. Judging will be based on flavor characteristics, off flavors, appearance, general taste, creativity, and overall balance. The winners will be announced Saturday, with the winner getting a chance to brew on Gone's industrial brew system and have their beer on tap at Gone. PI Brewing Company have released a new beer, their Honey Brown Ale. It combines quality malt and hops with PEI honey. This ale has a rich copper color with flavors reminiscent of honey on toast. This beer is 4.8% ABV. At last week's St. John Beer Fest, Hammond River Brewing in Quispam Sis with their Hop Flash IPA won Best of Show. Congrats! Picaroons continue their road show with yet another tap takeover, but this time on their home turf. Celebrate the repeal of Prohibition on Saturday, April 19th in Wilsner's Room at the Capitol Complex in downtown Fredericton. Bad Apple Brew House released that they have Russian Imperial Stout back on tap. The barrel-aged version will be out around the end of the month. They also have a limited amount of cider left, and they always plan to have APA available. Coming in the future, they will also have the barrel-aged Dippa and some of the 300-liter one-off double IPA that has yet to be named. Uh, and they now have a tap, in case you haven't heard, at Union Street Cafe, Wick Pub in Berwick, if you find yourself looking for lunch ideas. Big Spruce Brewing announced another take, tap takeover, this time at Line and Bright in Halifax on Earth Day, April 22nd. It's in support of the Ecology Action Center, and I hope to have more details about this next week. North Brewing Company now have their farmhouse back at the brewery, as I mentioned last week. So a lot of my friends are very happy to see that. Uh, I can't wait to try it. It's been tweaked a little bit, so we'll, uh, we'll let you know um, what I think. A uh, reminder that the release of Alewife's Revenge, a collaboration between Ladies Beer League and Boxing Rock Brewing, is really going to be released on April 17th at Stillwell Beer Bar in Halifax. And I hope to be there, and I hope to see a bunch of people out uh, trying it out. Beer and Burger Fredericton is on Tuesday, and Beer and Burger, or sorry, Burger and Beer Moncton has been announced for the 29th of April. They both sound great, and a little bird told me that Halifax edition is being worked on. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Ducky's Bar will be installing eight taps within the next couple of weeks. This is in Sackville, New Brunswick. Soon they'll have 22 taps, mainly devoted to local craft brews, and they confirm that Celtic Knot Brewing are going to have two of the taps, and others will be announced later on. And that's all I have for this week. Until next time, enjoy responsibly.